Yeah, let's do the box with the pawns. Gives him a 2 on 1. So, I have to go greedy munching, because if he takes, and we take, then either the pawn takes or something. Yep, yeah, okay, so we'll take with the knight. So then in essence, what they're looking at is trying to get the knight. So the pawn takes, but then the queen is defending. Just for a brief moment. So a greedy munching type situation. They're not wanting us to get castled. He's got two pieces on there. Then he's going to put a third on there, which is the knight coming here. So our king won't get to get castled. Because obviously we will have to potentially just take the knight off the board and then the queen takes, king takes. So getting ready for virtual castling. Oh, they've given us that tempo, so we'll castle. So now at least we have a defender of the queen. Okay, so the dangerous long pause, pause kicks in. And does that allow us to get the knight out, potentially attacking the bishop? Bishops look come dead quick to this square. Don't know what that means. Let's just attack the bishop. Make his mind up, is it taking the knight or is it going somewhere else? This will be the last one for today. Yeah, it's going somewhere else. So it's looking at, it's got like two potential attack type areas here. Knight can go here. Queen's got protection, so if they do go for the queen taking type situation. Okay, they're just um, dancing away. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so is that making it better for them or worse for them? I don't want to go chasing them around. I'm trying to look to see if there's any improvements other than just taking the queen off the board. Bishop needs to take because the knight will get the rook if he goes with the rook. get a check on the king well I believed <laughs> that the knight was gonna have a fork on the rook uh, I still want to jump in there this is something better now then damn I thought I had a fork the tricks the tricks the tricks I've got to be careful of this let's attack his rook keep it simple we do have this Okay, scenario. Oh, okay. Let's just take it, don't play. Now his knight is defending this square. They're moving oddly fast. I think they're moving oddly fast because they're going to try and get this fall. Bring the knight back. Mm. 
Now he's attacking the bishop. Something feels odd about that. Can't go here because his knight is defending. And the rook is on there. So I can either come in here or keep this diagonal, but I'm blocking this pawn. Coming in here, get the rook involved. Yeah, let's do that. We still do have to check on the king again. He's attacking the bishop. Has he landed on something? He has landed on the bishop. His knight takes. <laughs> What's this knight check? King comes across. Nothing much is there. No, there isn't anything there. Can the bishop go anywhere? X ray through to the rook. Am I building up something though? No, because this bishop is chomping at the bit to come and take this pawn. Hmm. Just take it off the board. Take it off the board, knight takes. Take. Knight takes. Still got that there. He's on the bishop still. <laughs> Maybe we don't take. Maybe we just attack. He takes. Take back. Yeah, let's do that, keep it safer. That other way just doesn't seem right. It's got the replication knight. We did say we're taking with the knight, but we could take with the pawn. Isolates the pawn. But we do have this type of thing with potentially this coming here. I think I'm liking that more and more. What am I disliking about it? I mean, this knight's covering here, so we could go for this. Yeah, let's go with that. That's probably what I was disliking about it. Comes across here, can go up. It comes across. I can attack the bishop. Bishop's got no protection. Attack his bishop as well. But if the knight moves, he takes our bishop. Interesting time. So if we went like this, then his rook comes and attacks the knight. Knight's got no protection. We went to attack their bishop. He's on our bishop. Does he take the bishop with his rook and then we take his and then he takes an <coughs> takes another pawn as well so he's um, building up quite a bit of a portfolio mm -hmm. so we could go 
simple with the rooks just defending the pawn, which is not really ideal, is it? Because I can sense this bishop's just going to come and attack. And if the knight moves, then he's got a 2 on 1 on the pawn. Okay, kicking the changing mindset, here we go. Not telling you what the changing mindset is, but <clears throat> check. Remember, this is greedy munch time, and we know what happens with greedy munch while they move there fast. So, just sitting back now, letting them do the munch. All the while, we're looking to improve our position on the board, utilizing the change in the mindset. Let's appreciate the game. Finally moved, they did disconnect and then they've come back on again, but with my new change in mindset, we should be okay. The greedy munch syndrome is kicking in now so they will be targeting all the pawns, but as we know improving position really does help. Okay, there's the greedy munch. 
A starter for 10. Let's go. That's got to hurt. 